Good afternoon. I want to come and talk just a little bit with you this afternoon about the changes going on in the federal budget regarding Medicare. Uh, you know, we're in a budget battle in Washington, D.C. that really is about the future of this country. $1.4 trillion a year in deficit spending, $14.3 trillion in debt we're passing along to our children and our grandchildren. Uh, that all happened uh, before I came to Congress, and perhaps uh, before uh, you began uh, voting. But it's on our plate now, and we have to sort these issues out. I'm very proud to have supported a plan. It was the Republican budget uh, plan. It was drafted by Congressman Paul Ryan and the Budget Committee, on which I sit. It's now passed the U.S. House of Representatives, so it's now the United States House of Representatives budget plan. And what this plan does is twofold. Number one, it writes America's financial ship so that we will preserve the strength of our nation, the strength of our economy going forward. One of the things that it does to do this is change the Medicare program, to reform it, to guarantee its survival. The Medicare trustees tell us that Medicare is going bankrupt, that health care costs are rising much too fast. You know this to be true. You know it in the Medicare program. You know it in the private insurance markets as well. We went about trying to save the Medicare program so that it would survive through this generation to the next generation and the next generation. To do that, we did a couple of things. First, for people age 55 and older, we said nothing will change for you. That wasn't an easy decision uh, to make. It's going to cost a lot of money to continue the program as it is today, but we thought it was important to keep the promises we've made to today's seniors. Keep the promises that we've made to those of you who are counting on the Medicare program for your retirement. So if you're age 55 and older, you don't need to worry about a thing with regard to changes in Medicare. The very same program that existed in Medicare in 2010 is going to be back in 2011, back in 2012, back for you in your retirement. But for our younger Americans, those under the age of 55, we're introducing choice into Medicare. Choice that will save the Medicare program. For those of you who are on Medicare today, you know about the waste in Medicare. You know about the fraud in Medicare. You know about the, the redundant services, the things that are getting paid for, and you're not quite sure what they were. There's no way to handle those in today's Medicare system. My father's on Medicare. He struggles with those those same things. There's nowhere to report those, those costs, nowhere to save those dollars. We found a way. And that's to give future Medicare beneficiaries choice. Let them choose a plan that's best for them. Not the one-size-fits-all Medicare program that has all that waste, fraud, and abuse in it, but a special plan tailored just for them. If they need more prescription drugs, choose a plan that has more prescription drugs. If they want more rehabilitative services, choose a plan like that. If they need more mental health services, choose that plan. It's the same idea behind the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan that I have as a member of Congress and that all federal employees enjoy. We want to bring that same successful model to every American uh, under the age of 55 as they enter the Medicare system. The actuaries tell us this will rescue the program. We know when choice is involved that we will make better decisions with our uh, dollars. That leads to the savings that not only rescue the program from bankruptcy, but also rescue this nation from its certain bankruptcy. If you have questions about anything you've heard in particular about Medicare reform, feel free to contact me. My email address, woodall at mail.house. Gov. Send me a message absolutely anytime. I'm here to work for you. I wanted you to get the answers directly from me. We do this on the budget. We do this on the Medicare. And we're going to do this on other programs in the future. It's a pleasure to serve you. Please let me know how I can serve you better. Thank you.